Hello and uh, welcome for this video about uh, Apache Kafka. I will uh, introduce how you could uh, install this uh, locally on your machine by uh, using the Docker Desktop engine for that. I will uh, show you a little bit about uh, Kadek, like the the UI I'm using when I'm sitting locally. I will just show you screenshots and uh, then I will uh, go in step by step to uh, to creating the, the Docker Compose file, so you will be uh, invitable to, to do this uh, locally. I'm Paris Nikita Kaiser. I work as data infrastructure architect. I have several certifications, and I have this YouTube channel called DataCraft Backbone. As I'm saying before, I will uh, introduce the Docker desktop. The Docker desktop, it's a container environment you can run on your computer. It's uh, working pretty good on, uh, on Mac so you don't need to install a Kubernetes cluster. So it's more easy to, to debug and testing software out. And then I will show a little bit about the Kadek, a very few screenshots and, and speaking about why I'm using that and not using the CLI in, in, in Kafka. We will use the Docker desktop as the container environment. And for that, you can see the screenshots from Docker desktop you, I'm here on the container uh, page and you can click on the image and the volume. Right now, I'm just uh, spinning up the Kafka uh, cluster locally. It's just running on one node because uh, I'm just uh, using for development. You can pause this video and go for docker.com and installing the Docker desktop if you not have it already installed. And to the management uh, Kafka cluster on my local machine, I personally use the Kadek. It's free for, for only one license and one connections. Then you can use it for developer purpose. If you like it too much and want to use it in production mode and uh, you use it for, for multiple the environment locally or something like that, then you need to pay. But uh, I will say that's a very nice uh, UI tool to, uh, to use that locally and, and get up and running. Of course, you can... Uh, trying out and, and spend time for the the Kafka UI and spinning up with the container on on the side of your Kafka cluster. But this is uh, very much easier. So pause the video, go for kadek.com and download it and install it. Uh, it's very useful. Now it's uh, time to uh, spinning up the Kafka cluster. And uh, this file you see here, it's uh, it, it, you can download it from the lesson if you're on my website datacraftbackbone.com it's uh, the part of the lesson or you can uh, just click on the description on YouTube and click on my github link then you could uh, find this file uh, directly I think that's much easier than uh, going to type down and make typos I've trying that before so I will just scroll down a little bit because when you have the volumes here in, in Docker it's meaning you point on the left side it's something happening on your local environment and on the right side is happening inside the container and when you're not using a like a, a dodge slash here that's meaning you're trying to build a, a volume and not pointing directly on your local machine i would recommend that because you don't need to uh, mount it to a machine but when you do this, it's very important to explain Docker about. I want a Kafka lock mount, should be the local driver, and the same with the Kafka data. If you don't do this, it will mess up with your rebooting, and that's meaning if you have some development states you're just sitting and creating, and your Docker want to update and you restart it, and your container restart, and you don't have uh, mounting the mount for in, in this way, it will just uh, reset your your uh, entire environment. So I I recommend you don't touch with the these lines. And when you come down here, I have uh, enabled this one. It's uh, auto create topics. That's meaning normally when you have uh, a production environment, it's not uh, sh not for sure you you want to um, to auto create topics with the partition and something like that. But when you are sitting in the development mode, it's very useful because then you save a lot of time. 
And then we have the allow plain text listener. That's meaning we don't use uh, SSH, uh, sorry, SSL on, uh, on, on the local environment. We just use the HTTP and not HTTPS. So that's another protocol you, you should uh, beware about uh, when you're uh, working here locally. But yeah, then, then we are ready to spinning up. So, so the only thing I need to do here, it's uh, saying uh, Docker uh, compose up and D. That's meaning I'm spinning up the, the Docker compose file and like the daemon. So it's, it's just hitting in the background. And you can see it's starting up here. And uh, if I'm just opening up my Docker desktop, it's a little bit smaller than, uh, than the text here, but you can see it's, it's running here and I click in and everything here is running as I'm expected. Now, when the Apache Kafka is running inside the Docker, then it could be fun to test it out and see it's, it's basically working. So I have already put my connection inside here. I will not uh, guide you in, in, in this video here. It will come in, in another one. Uh, and then I just click in connect and I can click over here to say uh, catalog and I have no topics. So let me say, test the uh, topic and see what's happening. And you can see I have my topic here. So everything is run and you can see over here, it's uh, it, it's running smooth. And just to testing it, it's setting uh, correct up. I will uh, try to uh, restart it, stop the container and spin it up again. And everything should be very nice again. And uh, we're ready. And you can connect and go into the catalog. And here you can see the test topic is still exist. I'm sorry uh, that the font is a little bit small here, but I can't uh, uh, scale, uh, scale this uh, funds up. I hope uh, you can see what's happening. Else, let me know. Uh, then I can type it down for you uh, and, and explain it a little bit more. Thank you so much for, for seeing this uh, one. And, and yeah. I'll just use a little bit of time here to say thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy that and uh, you better understand how the, the Apache Kafka can run on Docker Desktop locally. And I hope you enjoy to use the uh, Kadek uh, UI. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube or you can just make the like on the on the video here, make comments down. If you see this video based on my website uh, in, in a lesson, I really thank you to, to see this. Thank you so much and uh, hope to see you again.